Hi, I'm Kristen Bird for Red Carpet Report, and we are here for day two of the Creative Arts Emmys. The, the song was a Queen sound alike, just so you know, just to give, give you an idea of what it was. Am I gay or am I totally gay? I love that yeah. whole aspect. Well, no, of it. it's it's not an either or. The 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 question is asked by the title of the episode, and the question is answered by the song. I, it's totally gay. Am I gay? You are totally gay. I, I love it. So we know what the answer is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Fantastic. But, but uh, it turns out, spoiler alert, turns out the kid isn't gay after all. Even though he happily embraces the idea of being gay, the joke is on him. It turns out he's not gay. Now you don't have to watch the episode. Oh, no, we have to watch the episode because I think that that's an interesting sort of twist right there. It, well, it is. It's, uh, you know, the whole show is about kids struggling with puberty and trying to figure out who they are, uh, how life works, how sex works, how rope relationships work. Um, it's it's uh, it's a rich minefield of comedy. I feel like I'm still trying to figure that out as an adult. Yeah, I know. No kidding. I know. Well, then the show's for you. <laughs> you know, maybe you can revisit your own puberty and sort of reset things. And who knows? Not my puberty was super awkward. I just pulled out a photo with like braces and you know the awkward haircut. Oh yeah, I yeah. know. Oh, it's I full know. on, yeah. I, you know, I don't remember it being awkward. I don't remember myself going through that, those phases. But when I look back at pictures, I'm like, oh my god, yes, I did. I was. I was full on awkward. I was also a year and a half younger than everyone, so I was the runt. Oh really? Yeah, it wasn't good. Yeah, that's the worst way to do it. You really screwed that up. It turned out okay at the yeah, end, right? Yeah, it turned right? out fine. Yeah, it's it turned all out good. Fine. It's all good. Um, what is the what was the biggest challenge in creating the song? Uh, finding a guy who could sing like Freddie Mercury. Ooh, um, Adam Lambert. No, I found a uh, no. Uh, there's a guy named Brendan McCreary who's an LA musician. Who luckily I'd seen two years prior. I'd seen this show uh, of a tribute to Queen, a, a, a night of Queen songs, and he was the singer. So. It didn't turn out to be difficult, but I thought if he doesn't nail it, then the whole thing is just ru ruined, you know? Well, kind of tight. You can't do a Queen song with a guy who doesn't sound like Freddie Mercury. No, you need epic. You yeah. totally need epic. You need that guy, so. And I've got to imagine, too, this is very timely. We've got uh, Freddie Mercury biopic coming out this later this year. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. I uh, I watched the, uh, the trailers yesterday, and uh, I don't know. I'm a little nervous about it. I know, because it's such a good story, and it's so dramatic. Are they going to capture all of that? Also, it's Freddie Mercury. He's like one of the most important people in rock music, and I think he's near and dear to a lot of people, especially since he's no longer with us. I mean, you know, that's um, it's it's going to hurt my heart if they don't get it right. So I know, so iconic. I know, I know. exactly. There's only one Freddie. There's only one Freddie. Yeah. Well, congratulations on the nomination. We are wishing you the best tonight. Thank you very much. Amen. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and in the comments below, let us know who you're rooting for this Emmy season.